The congregation of Emmanuel Ministry Church welcomes you to I Am Alive with Pastor Philip Trent, minister of the gospel for more than 25 years. Now get your Bible and a notebook and let's join Pastor Trent as he preaches the uncompromised Word of God. Well, welcome again to I Am Alive. This is our fifth broadcast that we've done here today. And I guess you notice we wear the same clothes all the time. Uh, we try to come down and do a month at a time, and uh, this because of time, you know, requirements and getting together, and also I praise the Lord for this time together with Brother Phil that we've shared uh, here in this radio uh, tele, uh, TV uh, studio, and we've had some visitors in talking, and that's good. Uh, this, this, I am Pastor Philip Trent from uh, Hart County, Kentucky. I pastor Emanuel Ministry Church over there in a community called Lee Grand. We're located seven miles east of Horse Cave on Highway 218. And our services uh, are weekly, uh, well, actually more than weekly. We, every week we have Sunday school at 9.30 on Sunday mornings. And then our worship services at 10.30 after that Sunday school hour. And that's praise and worship, and we just, whatever the Holy Ghost uh, desires to do, sometimes it's, the, the, it's more word-based, sometimes there's spiritual activity, sometimes there's worship and praise, but we try to be sensitive to the Spirit of God, and uh, because without Him building the church and building the house, they labor in vain to build it. So we invite you to come and just witness what's going on there uh, by the Holy Ghost in Lee Grand, and I know there's a lot of churches that are doing the same thing, but we, in, we are one of them, so we invite you to come be with us anytime you can. And then this, uh, the, the last week of, uh, uh, during this whole, whole month of, of March, uh, by the time this broadcast comes, we'll be done with the Wednesday night teachings. But we've, I'm sure, enjoyed Brother David Husky uh, that's been with us throughout this week, and we would invite you to come and <coughs> be with us anytime you possibly can. And uh, these programs are available uh, you can get on YouTube and get these programs. You can get them various ways, or you can call us if you need someone uh, to send one to somebody by CD. We make that available to you also. We have a, a lady, Karen Bracken, there that takes care of that part of our ministry for us, and we're grateful for all our volunteers there at Emmanuel Ministry Church. Let's have a word of prayer, and we'll get into our service for tonight. Dear God in heaven, we're so grateful for this opportunity to be here before these cameras and before these people in your presence. And Lord, we just try our best. We lean, not lean on our own understanding, but to lean on you. And you told us to do that in Proverbs, to not lean on our understanding, but trust in you. We do that. And we trust, Father, you're leading us down the pathway we need to go in these teachings because we know we all need to be supernaturally charged. We all need to be supernaturally involved. And we want to learn how to release the supernatural in our lives. We believe there's a lot of Christians that just don't understand this. And we want to help them to understand the supernatural yes. and to allow the supernatural to be released and to cause the kingdom of God to have a greater effect in our area, not only in our lives, but the lives of our family, the lives of our church and our community. So we pray, Father, with great boldness, may your kingdom come and may your will be done in our hearts and lives. By the Holy Ghost, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Well, Brother Phil, we start our program out on uh, Scripture out of Romans. We're faithful to do that, Romans 1, 6, 15, for as Paul wrote to the church there, said he was ready to preach the gospel, to trust you're ready. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, and we're not, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus and him crucified Amen. for the sins of the world. And because he was crucified, that took care of the sin debt. That took care. If we'll get into the blood of Jesus, right. then that released us from the curse. That released us from the natural mundane side to where we can enter into the supernatural, supercharged side Absolutely. and live under the supernatural. Matter of fact, one place in there that you read earlier, Phil, a black, I believe it's back in Romans 8, for Paul said, for the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Yes. Amen. See, the law of sin and death brought death to us, mm -hmm. poverty, disability, weakness. Yes. But the spirit of life in Christ Jesus supercharges us and even quickens our natural body. 
our own natural bodies can be quickened and yes. shall be quickened by the Holy Ghost. And that's not just to raise you from the dead at the end. That's to affect the healing and the cure in your physical body mm -hmm. today. I just hate to think what my life would be like if it wasn't for Jesus. Oh, I'm telling, I'm you. telling you. So he's quickening our natural bodies to do his work. So we, we talk about that power of the gospel to bring us to salvation. Salvation includes every promise God promised humanity. That's right. Every, all the promises of God are in Jesus, yes, and in Him, amen, and can be released. How the release, Brother Phil? I'm glad you asked Thank me. You. By a heart of faith and a mouth of confession. Yes. Now, that's where it takes some releasing. That's what we're going to get into yes. tonight. How to release the supernatural. First, you've got to believe in it, Brother Phil. Yeah, absolutely. If, you, if you don't believe in it, you're not going to release it. If you don't know it. something's available to you, you will never access it. That's right. You know, it's amazing. I don't know if you've ever seen this or not, but I bet you have. There's a, a report that they print out that you can get online and you can actually look, and there are bank accounts with people that have money in them, and they don't even know that the money is available. Really? I looked one day for, for our church. I mm -hmm. thought, well, I wonder if our church has got anything. And there were two checks from AT&T for Faith is the Victory Church that had gotten lost in the mail or something, and this Get government agency tells you that they're available, and I was able to get those two checks, and they were refunds on some things for the Praise church. Praise the Lord. Did you and, look up me? Did you check I, in I did look up me, and well, that's your same name, and I didn't find anything for either one of well, us. Well, uh, Well, and, I've looked up in here. There's all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of life stuff. And godliness. But, you know, what's interesting is that belonged to right. those people, and mm -hmm. it still belongs to them. And there's millions and even billions of dollars that mm -hmm. belong to people, that stuff. and they don't even know it. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know what's available to or you, you forget it, you can't access it. Just like gift cards, they say every year there's yes. hundreds of thousands of gift cards yes. that go delinquent because they wasn't used in a certain time period. Right. Somebody gave you a gift card to Lowe's or Cracker Barrel or somewhere for Christmas or a birthday, and, and they, you, you they just set it. it aside or lose it, and the, although that was yours, yes. you never cash it in. Well, we want you to take advantage, and not not advantage in the wrong way, but advantage right. in the right way of everything that Jesus died for. For. Everything that he purchased Amen. in his death, burial, and resurrection, and that's all released in us by the Holy Ghost. It comes to us and through us by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now, you know, we're born again by a heart of faith and a mouth of confession. Every single promise of God really comes about that same way if you believe it in your heart and you confess it with your mouth. You know, just like Jesus, he had faith in his heart and he released words and that tree dried up overnight. And Jesus said, wow, you think that's something? Basically, I say to you, if you believe in your heart, you can cast this mountain into the sea if you believe and doubt not. I mean, Jesus took it as big as you could get it. I mean, anybody can move a mountain. I'm telling you. And the only place in the world that a mountain could be swallowed is in the sea. That's the only thing that's able to swallow a mountain. So Jesus is not saying to us, now we need to just go around and talk to these mountains. I won't level ground around here. No, he's saying that uh, there's not a mountain in life you'll face. There's not anything in life you're going to face. There's not a prognosis that you'll face. That if you'll listen to the Holy Ghost and allow God to lead you and guide you and direct you, you can release the supernatural and bring a cause and an effect into our lives and into our communities, into our families. Phil, for years, Linda and I talked about the Spirit of God blessing our family, blessed in the city and blessed in the field, blessed coming in, blessed going out. Right. And you know, we see those things happening. Our yeah. family is just so blessed, so prosperous. We got some of the smartest kids and that's yeah. just a God thing. That's Praise all. And I thank God this, this works, friends. Absolutely. This is not a trick. This is not the lottery. Absolutely. This is for every single born again child of God. It's for you and for your family and as many as the Lord our God calls. Right. So please hear what we say. Yes. Hear what we say and, and, and be active in it. Be, be, pro, be, be active in releasing. You know, I understand you, you need to be convinced. That's why we're doing this. Five nights in a right. row, five times. We want you to be informed because 
Faith comes by hearing yes. and hearing and hearing. So I'm going to shut up and let him talk to you and you listen <laughs> to him because he knows what he's talking about. Well, praise the Lord. The Amen. Lord is good. Amen. And All I, I will time. share with you, you know, he made a statement about our family. The seeds that you sow today will affect your family for generations. Glory to God. Now, in our case, uh, Pappy Trent sowed some seeds. Amen. Uh, knelt down beside from, from the stories I hear, knelt down beside his couch every night about 8 o'clock and prayed and prayed over his family. We know that Granny and Papa uh, sowed some seeds. Uh, Granny made the statement after Papa's death, uh, before they closed the casket, she reached over and grabbed and prayed for the family. She said, every night we name every member in our family and we've done it for years. And they name every grandchild, every child, every uh, son, daughter-in-law, everybody, and they prayed for them continually mm -hmm. together, okay? Then we, we see that same thing with my mom and dad. They've been faithful to the things of God. Now, all of your children are serving God in, in a capacity, either voluntarily or for me. I'm on staff at a church and mm -hmm. have been for 32 years. You're in full-time ministry. And uh, the grandkids, he's talking about how smart some of the kids are. My son... Uh, is brilliant, and I don't say that lightly. I'm no, just saying it's to God the, be the glory. The test scores prove it, and he mm -hmm. got a a full ride to a Ivy League college, and uh, he was valedictorian, and he's got a great job, great church, all this stuff's going in his life. And I, I looked at him one day, and I shook my head. I said, "Wow!" I said, "This is it's amazing to watch uh, what's happening in your life." And he looked at me. He said, "No, it's not." He said, "It's God." Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. He was 17 years old when he told me that. And I'm like, wow, you look, and, and over time, it's increased, and, and the family's increasing, mm -hmm. but it started years ago before we were ever here. Maybe that Lyle uh, blood in it. Well, it could be. It could be from the other <laughs> side. Uh, Miss Shirley Lyle could be. Absolutely. I don't know about Mr. Merlin. Well, but Ms. praise Shirley the Lord did. for both of them. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. I love my in-laws. They, they are wonderful people. So God is good, I, I know it? that God has been good to our families. Yes. So what I'm telling you is that if you'll start this today, it will affect generations. We see that in the scripture. It says generation to generation. Yeah. At the same time, if your parents were godly or your grandparents were godly uh, and you choose not to be and you live by that choice and stay there, that will also affect the yes, family in the future. So the things that we're talking about today is not only for you, but it's for you and generations Amen. to yes, come. It is. And so the more that we focus on living for the things of God, the better off that we will be. Now, we're not mm -hmm. talking about tradition. No. No. Now, some traditions are good. Yes. Okay. Not all tradition is bad. No. That's not what I'm saying. But mm -hmm. tradition is peer pressure from dead people. Mm-hmm. It's feeling like you've got to do something the way that someone else did it. And maybe you've never heard about being led by the Spirit. Maybe mm -hmm. you've never heard about that you are a spiritual being or that you can live supernaturally. Mm -hmm. Just because that we have some things that we don't know doesn't mean they're not scriptural. So we said to you three weeks ago, I said, the things that I'm showing you, I'm going to show you scripture for, and in some cases, many scriptures mm -hmm. for and we've, we've endeavored to do that. Mm -hmm. We told you at the beginning here that supernatural is outside the bounds of nature in the sense that this is not just the way a natural human person lives. We're talking about living by the Spirit of Amen. God. We've shown you many scriptures mm -hmm. about your position, one being Ephesians chapter 2, and uh, the sixth verse it says, And He raised us up together yes, and made us to sit in heavenly places God. in Christ Jesus. It's Amen. in Christ not in your works, and that no. goes on in the ninth verse of the second chapter, and it right. tells us not by works, lest we could boast. Right. We could say, well, it's because of my great works mm -hmm. that God has used me. Well, the only work that we're required to do is obedience to the Word. Mm -hmm. All the work was done by Christ on the cross. He paid the price. I didn't pay the price. Right. I just accepted the price that was paid. Right. You, you get. I didn't pay it. I just accepted that He paid it. And that allows me to live supernaturally because He seeded me mm -hmm. with Himself because of the work that He did. All I did is agree to accept the work that He did 
and agree to be born again and I walk in the Word of God. You know, there's the God side and the man side. Yes. Now, we're not going to say this will just come on you. Just, you just sit around the church and you get it by osmosis. No. No, there is. We look at the pattern. God told Joshua, you keep the Word before you day and night yes. and night and day that you might observe to do it and you'll make yourself successful. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says for us to put the Word. Back in the Old Testament, they kept it in the front of their eyes. They wrapped it around, put it on leather, and wrapped it around That's the right. arms and doing all that. But see, what God wants to do is write that in our spirits right. and in our hearts. How does He do that? Supernaturally. But you need to allow God the opportunity to speak into your heart. So when you sit before the Word and you ask, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, teach me. Lead me in the way I need to go. I, 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 need, I need your help so badly. And I'll tell you if, you'll, if you'll talk to him, if you'll ask Holy Spirit to help you, reveal the truths out of the Word. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God will bring revelation knowledge out of the Word. When that happened to me, my eyes began to get open years ago, little Phil. I'm telling you, it ab absolutely revolutionized my life. I was a it Christian. But I was just a common Christian. I was yeah. just a carnal Christian. What we're talking about is not being <laughs> carnal. We're talking about being spiritual. Right. Led by the Holy Ghost. You can do that. Yes. You say, well, I can't even read. Well, I tell you what, uh, ask God. I, if you'll ask my wife, after I got baptized in the Holy Ghost, it was just like I went to school. <laughs> I couldn't read very well either. I got through Hartman Mole School by the grace of God. I'm telling you simply the grace of God. I didn't know how to read very well. I was good in the arithmetic and stuff. But when I got baptized in the Holy Ghost, it changed my entire life. Yes. He taught me how to read. And now I can read these things. Some of these Passover scriptures are a little rough. But praise God. I, I go ahead. I just want to say that. No, no, you're good. Joshua 1 8 is the scripture you yes. quoted. It said, uh, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, mm -hmm. but you shall meditate. That means to think upon therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do, do according to all that is written therein. So there are requirements yes. from the flesh side to do what the Word says. We are to be doers. If we will be a doer of the Word, it says, For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Yes. Because God is leading you on how to make your way prosperous. Yes. And leading you on how to have good success. Amen. So and, we and have, he tells us too that if you just look at it, and you're not a doer of it, the doer's blessed. Mm -hmm. yeah. you're not, you don't just lead, look at it or, or just sit around that you begin to do what the Word of God says. Practice the Word of God. Yes, absolutely. Start at home. Love your wife with all your heart. Love the Lord. I mean, just, just begin the elementary things that we ought to be doing anyhow. Yes. And start with it, and you'll be blessed if you will. Go ahead. A a amazing how much difference it'll make in your home life. Absolutely. By being led by the Spirit of God. Let me say this. When you're led by the Spirit of God, all of a sudden, when you have the anger that comes up at a spouse or a child, and the Spirit of God says, no, 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 stop, don't say a word, mm -hmm. all of a sudden there becomes more peace in your house. Absolutely. And now you can be led by the Spirit of God of what to say. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When we're led by the love of God, Romans 5, 5, the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by Christ, by mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost, I can speak in love now to my family and they'll hear me. Mm -hmm. Even if there's correction, correction can be done by love mm -hmm. and love in correction together, they'll receive that. Amen. But if you're yelling and fighting, they're not going to receive that. So we have to learn to be led by the Spirit mm -hmm. of God in every area of our lives. Somebody watching, either them or yeah. your family member, as they've told has to go to anger management classes. Yep. Anger management school. I'm telling you, the school of the Holy Ghost is the best anger management school. It's the only successful one. Yes. You can go to the Holy Ghost and He will help you reel that mind, reel that self back in. Get, your, yeah. get yourself under the anointing of God that brings about love, joy, peace, goodness, gentleness, mm -hmm. meekness, self-control by the Holy Ghost. And you, you can do it. Now, if you take hold of it, you can get that done. Absolutely. Amen. All right. So when we talk about the qualifications, he said, what did he say in Joshua 1.8? If we meditate 
and do the things that are written. Mm -hmm. So let's look at some things that are written yes. to enhance mm -hmm. our ability to hear the voice of God. Now we know that just being born again, as we've shown you that that means you're now the temple of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. that God lives on the inside of you. But sometimes just because a person is there doesn't mean we're listening. Right. Sometimes we suppress the voice of God. We've maybe made this statement, or have you heard someone make this statement? Well, I just knew I shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. Well, how did you know? Well, the way we know is on the inside, our mm -hmm. spirit is speaking to us. We read uh, a scripture in Acts chapter 27 and verse 10 that said, Paul said, I perceive this voyage will be with much harm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that is different than the Holy Spirit speaking to you mm -hmm. directly and giving you some direction. Yes. This is your spirit impressing upon you. We call it the still small voice. He's impressing upon you that this is something you need to do. Mm -hmm. So for me to get where I can hear his voice better, more clear, kind of like tuning in a radio. We used to have the old dial radios. Many people don't understand those because you've only had the digitals. And, and today I don't think I've got a dial radio. Well, I may have one, okay. but most of them is digital and you can mm -hmm. tune right in. But on the dial radio, we used to move that thing and, and, and try to get it. And, you know, there's times we'd listen to ball games. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember when we was a kid. We'd be at the milk bar or something, listen to a ball game, had a radio hanging up, and we'd tune that thing in and get the ball game, and, and you just barely hear it. We'd tilt that radio, and sometimes we'd have string pulling at one, and you'd get that thing just in the right spot, and that thing would pick up, and, be, and Dad'd be like, don't touch it. Yeah. And, and, and you've got that thing. Cell where phones it, it, that way too. Sometimes yeah. cell phones yeah. can be that way, especially uh, if you're out in a place where it don't get much mm -hmm. reception, you get certain spot. Well, what, what are we doing? We're getting where we can hear. Mm -hmm. So we've got to position ourselves right. through obedience to the Word, Good word. and learning the Word Proper so adjustment. that we can hear the voice of God. So Amen. when we look at Jesus, He was the best example. Mm. Now, let me say this. Jesus isn't the only example mm -hmm. of hearing the voice of God. You remember that that we see uh, one of the apostles, he said, you go to a street called Straight, there you'll find a man. And, and a nice and, as praying Ananias. over Paul. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you see Peter, he's up on the roof, and he said, there's men that's coming. About that time, they knocked on the door. Mm -hmm. So we see that Jesus wasn't the only one. Right. Okay, he's not the only person that's been led by the Spirit mm -hmm. of God. We've got examples of all through the Scripture. What but if Ananias hadn't have done that? It wouldn't have happened. Oh, my goodness. The, the Gentiles wouldn't have had the gospel ooh, open to them. Ooh, ooh. So we understand that Jesus wasn't the only one. No. All right. But I will step out and say this. He was the best one. Yes, sir. He absolutely heard God He's the better poster than anybody child, else. Man. <laughs> so we see in John chapter 10, verse 37 and 38, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus said this. He said, if I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. Mm-hmm. But if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father's in me and I in him. Amen. For me to be able to exercise the spiritual side of my life, mm -hmm. to be led supernaturally, one of the things we said is that we want to represent God and do the works of the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right? We want to represent him in what we do. Mm -hmm. Represent is represent. We represent right. what Jesus is. Amen. All right. Jesus was representing the Father to you and I. And he said, look, he said, because of what you see, you can believe. Mm -hmm. He said, if you don't believe me, he said, you just watch what's happening around me and you watch what I do. Mm -hmm. All right. So Jesus did not ever promote his own agenda, but he promoted the agenda of his Father. Right. So if I want to increase, mm -hmm. now we know that there are different levels. Mm -hmm. But if I want to increase God's supernatural voice in my life and the ability to walk supernaturally in my life, one of the first things I must do is make sure that I, what I'm speaking lines up with what the Father wants me to speak. Amen. As a born-again Christian, I cannot go around. Now, I'm talking about me, all right? I just, it, it grieves my spirit. It grieves my heart. I can't cuss. Good. I just can't do it. Good. Okay? I, I don't want to listen to certain radio programs. I don't want to watch certain TV programs. No. Uh, there's a lot of things I can't do because it just grieves my heart. Yes. I, I, it just don't, 
I don't enjoy it, even if it's a great show or a great program in, it, mm -hmm. in the way it's directed or the storyline or whatever, but if they got some certain things in it, I don't enjoy it. Right. And there are certain things I cannot do. There are certain words I cannot say. So I understand that in your life, there are things as you're born again and you get closer to God, things that used to, you might could have get, gotten by with, mm -hmm. that now they'll grieve your heart. These because things. the closer we get to God, the more Godlike we become. Mm -hmm. And God says that sweet water and bitter water ought not come out of the same right. mouth. He said blessing and cursing can't come out of the same mouth. Mm -hmm. So I can't today, what the one scripture says, with one day you bless God and the other day you curse men. One side you, you bless the Lord, the other side you curse man. Right. You Made in the image of God. You can't, can't do, do that, that. Mm. and be qualifying yourself to right. increase. Now, mm -hmm. You still have God on the inside of you. You can be the temple of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. and, and and you know there's certain levels that we can get to here spiritually. We're not talking about eternal life. We're here. not talking, we're about, talking about, about being, being used of the Holy Ghost. Right. We're talking about if you want to increase. Now we've talked about this a number of weeks. Mm -hmm. If you and I want to increase mm -hmm. the supernatural activity of God in our life, Jesus said, "I need to speak what the Father speaks." and be like the Father is. Right. And when Jesus was like that, all of a sudden we see supernatural taking place exactly in His right. life. When He was in the garden, you'll find this in Luke chapter 22, verse 41. Mm -hmm. He had withdrawn about a stone's cast, and He knelt down and He prayed. And He said this, He said, Father, if Thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I want, but what You want. Mm -hmm. He was going through the crucifixion right there. Mm -hmm. He crucified himself in the garden before he ever mm -hmm. got to Pilate's judgment hall. He made the decision that he was going to do what mm -hmm. God said. Amen. So God could trust Jesus. So I have a question that I'll leave you with as, as we close out this particular broadcast. Can God trust you with supernatural power yes. that you wouldn't take credit unto yourself or to try to magnify yourself, but you would magnify God and, and do what He wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. You would say what He wants you to say. Even if it ruffles a feather, even if it, it gets uncomfortable, mm -hmm. you're willing to speak on behalf of God and be so devoted to Him that He can trust you. Mm -hmm. The more trust that God can place upon you because you trust more upon Him, the more you will see His presence mm -hmm. and His supernatural power operating in your life, Amen. then many of the testimonies you read about from others, you will see happen at your house. 1 Corinthians 6, 12, all things are lawful unto me, Paul said, but not all things are expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any of them. So we don't want to compromise the Christian walk. I don't want to throw a reproach upon the body of Christ, my family, the church or anything by doing things unseemly, unkind. I, won't, I don't want to disqualify myself from the Holy Ghost using me. Amen. It's not about heaven or hell, but it's about being used by the Holy Ghost. We want to thank you for watching us again tonight. I pray that you're having a great time in the Lord Jesus Christ. If we can assist you in any way, we'll try our best to do so. Thank you. God bless you. And we'll see you right here on I Am Alive next Sunday night. We are